It's me, Bussy, and welcome back to my channel. Today we've got some tea and hot gossip to discuss. We'll be going over what went down to the 73rd annual Emmys involving RuPaul's Drag Race and how that led to us discovering Tamisha Iman's block list is a lot longer than we thought. And in a surprise twist that only Laganja could have expected, we'll be taking a look at what appears to be the official relaunch of the Tamisha Iman network. Let's get started. First up, the Emmys. Ru attended this year's Emmys with Simone and Gottmik in tow. And while Simone's presence there was no surprise considering she won the season and Ru's been taking her on a bit of a media tour, notably on the Jimmy Kimmel show, which was super fun to see them do a little interview on. But it had me wondering, where is Candy, who technically placed second on the season? And it was arguably a big reason that RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked won its very first Emmy for Unstructured Reality Show this year. For the sixth straight year in a row, RuPaul took home an Emmy for Outstanding Host of a Reality or Competition Program, and the show won the Outstanding Competition Series Emmy for the fourth year in a row. Excitingly, this officially makes RuPaul the most Emmy awarded black artist ever, with a total of 11 Emmys. But back to Candy. Following the ceremony on September 20th, Candy reposted the announcement for Untucked winning an Emmy on her Instagram, writing, She has me blocked, but Tamisha girl, look at what we did. But I was a little surprised to learn that Tamisha still had Candy blocked on Instagram. The last thing we heard about their relationship was that they had largely come to what seemed to be an understanding. Thank you. Hopefully they can put this into the universe that, yeah, bitch, we got on him. We duped it out. And guess what? <laughs> we good. Love you, sis. See you when I see you, girl. <laughs> See you I see you. Regardless, shortly after Candy's post, Tamisha Iman did reshare a screenshot of that post to her Instagram story, adding this. Thanks, Candy. Yes, we did that. Now run us our Emmys. Interestingly, this sparked the discussion about who is and isn't blocked by Tamisha Iman on social media. Joey Nofi, who covers Drag Race and Dragula Entertainment stories on Entertainment Weekly and hosts their podcast, Binge, tweeted out on September 21st that he was blocked by Tamisha Iman on Twitter. Someone on Twitter asked Joey for a backstory on why he might be blocked and he just responded, truly, no idea. I only tweeted excitement over the Tamisha Iman network a few months ago, and then four months later, I'm blocked. Oh well. And then the situation got more curious. -er. Denali retweeted that tweet, sharing a screenshot from her end, showing that she too was blocked. It seems that Denali is also unclear on the block situation, but fans are speculating it could be due to Denali tweeting this out back in July. These slides will actually make it to you too, while advertising some new slides in her merch collection that had her name printed on them. And Denali didn't tag anybody when she tweeted this, but this was kind of in the middle of lots of fan discussion online about the slowness of fulfillment of Tamisha Iman's merch and information from Tamisha Iman herself openly discussing her issues fulfilling orders. My customers have, been, have not gotten their merchandise. Number one, I don't run my merch. Anytime I get a message about merch, I usually forward it to uh, my team. I am personally going through all of the orders to see what did not get in. So I do apologize for that. So it does feel like the tweet is probably some slight shade directed towards her season 13 sister. Tamisha has also apparently blocked Lala Ri, who now no longer claims her as her drag mother. Interestingly, a quick check of who Tamisha is following on Instagram reveals that she's currently only following Elliot and Kimura from her entire cast of season 13 sisters. Tamisha, the block is coming for you. So after the blocking debacle, debacle, if you will, <laughs> On the 21st, Tamisha Iman announced Tamisha Tuesdays on Instagram with this voice note. What's going on, everybody? Listen, it is Tamisha Iman, child. I am coming to have a conversation with my supporters. And tomorrow is the day for the conversation. It is Tamisha Tuesday. She followed up on Tuesday with an invitation to join a webinar where she had some things to say. She begins the webinar by addressing the rumor that she's been stealing from fans by not fulfilling merch orders. She claims that this is racist and that as of last week, she has caught up and has now fulfilled 98% of all orders. In fact, she says the opposite is true, claiming that 45% of all the orders she filled have actually issued chargebacks, meaning that those customers received merch for free. She says that she didn't dispute any of those chargebacks, but it was unclear to me whether she was doing that out of good faith or vindictiveness because she later announced that she would be making a video exposing everybody that had issued a chargeback to her and gotten merch without paying. All I can 
say is if you've issued a chargeback, watch out, Tamisha Iman is coming for you. She then proceeds to discuss fan reactions to her appearance on Drag Race around the world and moves on to what we're all here for, the Tamisha Iman network. If you remember, TIN was originally announced as her own media network, complete with a Roku app that you could join and get exclusive weekly content through for only $25 a month. Of course, billed three months in advance for an upfront charge of $75 or $15.99 per show. However, what fans actually got when originally signing up for the network was only one piece of content over the past several months. The conversation with Candy Muse video that, again, she ended up releasing for free to preempt illegal uploads, she says. In good faith to make up for all of that, she has now announced free Tamisha Iman network subscriptions through February for anybody that's already paid for their subscription. She then proceeds to reveal just how busy she's been while being quiet on social media over the past couple of months, announcing a slew of network services and physical products. But before we go any further, I do want to remind you that you can support Bus King on OnlyFans by getting that link from Bus Queen on her Instagram. DM her to get it. And you can support the channel on Patreon.com slash Queen, where my patron family gets exclusive member benefits like early access to my videos, exclusive videos, personal shout outs, access to the Bus Queen Discord server, and more. Click the link in the description of this video to join, and I'll see you there. Now, let's get back to it. There's going to be a podcast called Tamisha Iman, She's Built Different, and a radio show available via an iPhone app that you can already download called TIN Radio, airing Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 8 a.m., which you can literally already download, and as of a few minutes ago, it was playing like a Beyonce remix song, which is apparently part of her plan to play a lot of Ballroom Vogue music. And I think this officially makes her the first Rue Girl to have launched a radio station available via an app. Kind of iconic. She also announces a cosmetic line coming out on October 16th, her birthday. But don't get too excited about the new makeup. It seems like the image of the bronzer palette that she's advertising on her website is actually a stock image from an AliExpress highlighter and bronzer palette, which isn't necessarily a bad thing if she is just ordering these and rebranding them as Tamisha Iman makeup, but I think it would be nice for her to share with us where she's getting her product so we can evaluate as consumers if we trust the product or not. She also announces a new merch store launching tomorrow, September 23rd. And if you are interested in helping her with any of this, she says she's hiring. You can contact her via email to join her team and help Tamisha Iman Network reach all corners of the globe. Later in the webinar, she discussed some of the sisterhood drama that we mentioned earlier, saying that she doesn't hate Denali, but doesn't want to be her friend because no one stood up for her, including Denali. And she also clarifies she has most of the season 13 girls blocked on Instagram, not because she hates them, but because she says that they don't feel like sisters to her. She also says that they all have her phone number and can call her at any time, but Kamora and Elliot are the only ones that call. She then jumps kind of back and forth between talking about all the different services and answering questions from fans. And during the webinar, somebody asked in the chat if she was the Reddit user Alabama underscore star. This was an account getting accused on Reddit and other platforms like Twitter of being Tamisha's secret burner account. And from what I can tell, this account was created on September 21st and posted pretty much only about Tamisha. For example, on a Reddit post sharing a screenshot of Denali's screenshot showing that she was blocked by Tamisha, Alabama Star chimed in, writing, You lovely people need to start minding your own business. If Tamisha Iman blocked Denali, she probably has good reasons. You can hate the icon since you will never be her. And on another post where a user was sharing a screenshot showing that Tamisha Iman had, quote, canceled their subscription, Alabama Star chimed in, writing, My love, believe me, Tamisha Iman is a very honest person and she would never scam anyone. The hate against her from the the fan base is vile. And I do want to point out this Reddit post was made four months ago, so this Alabama Star user was definitely just searching for the name Tamisha and found it to chime in on. And then what I think is the funniest comment from this user, they posted on the Formula One Reddit thread, which is like a thread for literal cars drag racing, and wrote, All the trolls don't seem to realize that Tamisha Iman has built an empire from the ground up. Jealous people have taken it upon themselves to vilify and slander her in this tomfoolery is incredibly common with black queens and black entertainers. All these white queens can F up a billion times, but all it takes is for Tamisha Iman to have a couple issues with her website, and all of a sudden she is a scammer. Tamisha Iman has a colostomy bag and can still accomplish 10 times more than these white 
that the public eulogized so much. Nevertheless, she is an icon and will remain one regardless of social media trolls. Perhaps the funniest part of this being that Tamisha actually shared a screenshot of this comment from the account on her Instagram story and wrote, I don't know who this is, but I want to say publicly, thank you. So Tamisha denied being Alabama star in the Zoom call and later on Twitter denied being Alabama star saying, I am Tamisha Iman, my love. I don't have to create a fake account. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. But sadly, it seems Alabama star is putting down her phone for good. In the midst of Tamisha getting accused of being this person across multiple different platforms, Alabama star posted on the Reddit RPDR drama thread writing, I am not Tamisha Iman. I will from now on no longer be posting on Reddit as it is full of jealous individuals who have so much hatred in their heart towards queens and entertainers. I am not Tamisha Iman, only a supporter for the last 30 years. But what was the truth? Was Alabama star Tamisha Iman? Who knows, but there are some obvious coincidences. Tamisha herself is a star from Alabama and both Alabama star and Tamisha use the phrase my love when talking to people online. But accusing her of being some anonymous Reddit user that has been denied by both the Reddit user and Tamisha is really not going to do any good for anybody. So in this situation, I would say it feels best to just have a laugh and drop it completely. She ends the webinar by clarifying her merch is good quality and that people wish they had careers as long as she does. So there you have it. The Tamisha Iman Network is back and I wish her only the best of luck in all her avenues of entrepreneurship. I think at the end of the day, we're all rooting for her or as Kimora says, rooting for us. As always, I want to say thanks to you for watching this video and give a special shout out to Avacosmos and Matthew Burns, who've just joined my Patreon at the hot tier. And Lark, Aliel, Angel, Adaluda, Cyrus, Felicia, JB, Joseph, Josh, JP in Dallas, Laura, Matthew, Maxi Low, wow, Miss F. Neely, Robert Reeves, Scooby Snacks, Sailor, Stephen, Tom Jaco, Tom Young, Topher A, Triton, and Neely, who are all supporting me at my Bussy Queen Collector tier. See y'all later. Love ya. Bye.